Hi, my lovely YouTube friends. Gypsy here and Pixie. <laughs> I hope everyone had a lovely Easter break. I know that I did. Although I'm not a Christian, Easter to me does mean that I do get to spend um, a lot of quality time with family, which is lovely. So I had an amazing Easter break. As you probably already know, I did release a video recently. It was my thousand subscriber giveaway video and I prompted people to tell me who in this community inspires them and why. Now, as a result of this, I have all the insider knowledge now as to who are the most inspiring people in this community. So I really just wanted to recognize these people, but not only that, I really wanted to just make a video to keep the positivity going. And I know that I love subscribing to inspirational channels. So I just want to let you all know who these people are so that if you're not subscribed to them already, uh, you can subscribe to them. Okay, so I'm going to start by telling you who is hands down the most inspirational per person here in the Yarny community here on YouTube. So with more votes than anyone else or more comments than anybody else, hands down, Crystal of Bag A Day Crochet. So for obvious reasons, the things that people wrote about Crystal were amazing. She's obviously so incredibly generous She's like, she loves yarn. I think everybody who like, loves crochet is already subscribed to Crystal. But if you're not, look her up. She, she like eats, sleeps and breathes crochet. She has so many original patterns, uh, video tutorials that are so easy to use. And she just really makes crocheting easy for everyone. And she's just amazing. And her yarn collection... I mean, I'm not a yarn collector by any means, but I still am inspired by her collection. I think I would get major anxiety having that much yarn around me because I wouldn't know where to begin on what project. But I'm so, like, it's just amazing to see. Like, I do get excited about things that I collect and she just her passion for yarn is just so inspiring. And she's inspiring to all of us here in this community. Okay, so next I'm going to mention... Four more people as voted by you, my subscribers, as to who are the most inspirational people. But these four are not going to be in any particular order. So we have Krista of The Secret Yarnery. For obvious reasons, she's amazing. She's incredible. She's talented. She's bubbly. She's fun. The most inspiring thing for me about Krista is her color choices, her love of color and how she uses color in everything around her because I really feel like the colors in my environment uh, really do influence my mood in my lounge room. You've probably noticed everything's very brown and, you know, relax, you know, just like a neutral tones. In my bedroom, everything is red. I have a red shag rug and all my bedding is always red. You know, the power, the, the color of passion and let's not get too personal here. But anyway, I like red in my bedroom. <laughs> so anyway, um, I don't know where I'm going with that. Okay, so the next person on my list of most inspiring people in this yarning community is Debbie, the Canadian crotcheter. So if you are, all these channels will be linked in the description, by the way. So Debbie is amazing and everybody loves Debbie. Does not, uh, everybody loves Debbie. And she is such, she's, she's so good at bringing the community together. She's so involved in the community. So many people, including myself, started their own channels being inspired by Debbie. She is just amazing. I mean, I have so many videos to watch. I often have to skip some, you know, um, I don't really watch yarn hauls because I'm in Australia. So if it's a yarn haul video, I just swipe right past it because I just don't have time to watch everybody. But if Debbie did a yarn haul, I would be watching that. There is no doubt about it. I never miss a video from Debbie. She's amazing. She's so warm and beautiful and she just brings so much joy to my day. I just love watching her and I'm sure you all do too. So, Debbie the Canadian crotcheter. Now, 
This next one, wow. Wow, so many people. So we're up to how many? Oh, all right, so this is number four, no particular order. So I can't believe how many people said this person because I haven't been subscribed to this person for that long. I mean, I feel like she just popped out of nowhere and she's so inspiring to everyone and everyone just loves her. And I think that she might even be surprised to find herself up this high in this list, but she's amazing. Everybody thinks so. Right. So I'm talking about Billy, the crafty Floridian. Billy, if you are watching this, you need to go back to my 1000 subscriber video and read through the comments. The comments for what people feel about you are amazing. Like, oh, and it really has, I mean, I already knew you were great, obviously, but I even have more love for you now reading all of these comments because people are right what they're saying about you and you really are so generous and all the charity work that you do, it really is inspiring and, you know, your stories and, you know, to me, I mean, my grandmother passed when I was very young and you remind me of her so much. So I feel like I have that connection with you, although it's probably creepy and weird. I don't know, but... Um, I really do feel a deep connection with you and so many others in this community do. So congratulations, Billy. If you are not already subscribed, go and check out Billy, the, club, the crafty Floridian. Okay, so the last person mentioned in the top five most mentioned people was me, Gypsy Rose. And I do realize that I'm only in that top five because I'm the one that made the video. <laughs> but... I, you know, when I made the video, I was originally going to say, who inspires you the most and why? It can't be me, but don't say me. And then at the last minute, I thought, mm, no, because I know that there's people that are going to say me that I thought, given my current headspace at the time, I really could have loved some of those comments and used some of those comments and oh my goodness, I was so overwhelmed. I think like half of you mentioned me and yeah, that was beautiful. I was really, you know, but it wasn't just saying, oh, you inspire me, but the reasons why. And I guess, you know, it's hard to view yourself from the perspective of others. So thank you to everyone who said me. I was really, brought me so much joy reading through those comments. It was amazing. So I'm not going to leave it there. Now I'm quickly going to go over a few other people who were, most of these people were mentioned on the list. So my five top five inspirations, Gypsy's top five inspirational people on YouTube. This was really difficult to keep it down to just five. Uh, some were already mentioned in the other top five, so I haven't um, use those people. There's like a bug or something flying around my head. Anyway, it's because I shine so bright. I think it's a moth, you know, like because I shine so bright and I'm just full of light in it. <laughs> I can't even finish that sentence. <laughs> you know, like how moths attract the light. Um, sorry, that wasn't funny. <laughs> I'm losing it today. Oh my goodness. So easily the most inspirational person I have come across here on YouTube is Llama Mama Kayla. She is amazing and I was happy to see that some of you did mention her in the comments as well. If you don't know about Llama Mama, you must go and check out her channel. She has been through so much with her health. She struggles with her health all the time and you would not know it by the way. She's just she's just hilarious. She's so funny and she's so bubbly and full of life and she's always taking the mickey out of herself and she's just hilarious to watch she's so funny and she's so amazing so due to her health conditions she's actually lost like half of her fingers so and she still manages to create the most beautiful things like um i've i've taken to calling her rumple steel skin because she can spin or loom <laughs> anything into gold she's just amazing I can't I don't know how she does it and whenever I I find her the most inspiration for me because whenever I'm stuck and I think oh I can't do this or this is too difficult or this isn't working out 
I think uh, if if Kayla can do what she can do, given her circumstances, I can get through this. And I just constantly find myself coming back to that. Like, Kayla could do it. I could do it. And thank you so much for that, Kayla. Um, if you haven't checked out Llama Mama, uh, please do so. She's amazing. Another inspirational one for me who was also mentioned a few times in the comments, Petra of the Sosa family. She's just amazing. I don't even know what it is that draws me into her, but she's so intelligent and, like, the way that she approaches her work is amazing and the things that she creates. And her children, like, her children are so adorable and I just love, love, love watching her. And she just, just the way she wants to share, she wants to share all her knowledge with all of us like and her, her tutorials oh, I don't know I, I can't even I can't even explain what it is about her but she is just just amazing I love her so much I was watching her well before I was on YouTube and she has always been such a big inspiration to me so thank you Petra okay so number three for me would have to be Terry of the Yarn Joy podcast she is fabulous she's amazing she does the way that she cranks out her projects is crazy pants. I don't know how she does so much crochet. Like, I feel like whenever she has, like, her podcast, she's like, oh, I don't have much to show you this week. And then she's just, like, show you, like, 12 things that she's completed. And it's like, how? How? How do you find the time? I would be interested to sit and watch her crochet and see how fast she is. Like, she'd be, like, quick as lightning. She's, like, a stitch wizard. She's amazing. And she's so warm and bubbly. Like, she seems like, I mean, I'd love to meet her. And some people in my comments section said that they would love to meet her too. I think she she's just somebody you just love to meet. And Brenda from My Puggleful Life recently did meet her and I was so jealous. I was like, oh, my God, Brenda, you met Terry from Yajoy Podcast. I don't know. I've been watching her for a long time. I've done crochet alongs with her, you know, the, the Christmas blankets. The, the little Christmas character Afghan blanket, you know, so, but they, this was before I was on YouTube. So I love Terry. Okay. So number four is Lee of totally.net. She was my biggest inspiration to start a YouTube channel. She's Aussie like me. She's hilarious. And she rarely even makes crochet videos anymore, but I still watch all of her content. Whatever she puts up, I will watch. She talks about books. She loves books and I love books too. The stuff that she reads, I probably wouldn't read most of it. <laughs> you know, we have completely different tastes in books, but she has so much passion for books. I could listen to her talk about books all day long. So she does a lot of portrait work. Um, she has. She's just inspired me so much with, in the way of portraits. And her work is fantastic. Like... She just, every time she shows a new for portrait, my jaw is, like, on the floor. I don't know. She's amazing. So, thank you, Lee. Um, you know I love you. Number five, and also mentioned by some other people here in the comments, uh, was Summer of Summer's Tips and Stitches. I love Summer. I watched her for a long time. Uh, and then I remember she reached out to me. And she, I remember that when she commented on one of my videos, and it was fairly early on, and I was like, Oh my God. Oh my God. Summer from Summer's Tips and Stitches commented on my video because I just, I don't know, like in a creepy way, I feel like we were already friends, but only I knew that we were friends. And I watched all of her videos and commented on all of her videos. And she's just so relatable and beautiful. Oh, I just love Summer. I love Summer and I never miss any of her videos. And sometimes I feel bad because I can't comment because I'm in the middle of doing something else. But you know, she knows I love her. You know I love you, Summer. <laughs> I just feel like, I feel like Summer and I have so much in common. I feel like Summer is so like me. I don't know. Like, her personality seems, we seem very in sync, I think. Not in the 90s boy band kind of a way, but in a different kind of way. I don't know. And she's funny. She, she makes me laugh. So that is my top five podcasters that inspire me on YouTube. Go and check them out if you haven't already. Their links will be in the description box. 
I just, before I go, I just want to mention that my absolute number one inspiration here on YouTube is not podcasters. It is you guys, the subscribers. So I need you, I just want you to know every morning when I wake up, I get up. The first thing I do is I get my laptop and I respond to comments and read through my comments. And I do this because this is the most beautiful way I have found to start my day. The comments that I receive from you guys, the subscribers, is amazing. I just feel like it doesn't matter what I say. Like, you know, some of you are just, the comments are just beautiful. I just, I can't even begin to let you know how much your comments mean to me. I love interacting with all of you. And yeah, sometimes it takes me like a couple of days to get back to you. And I feel bad for that, but I get so many comments and, but I just love it. I love, you know, getting to know you all and, you know, whether or not you have a channel or not. And I'm, I hope that some of you will come and join in my Zoom chats that'll be upcoming. I'll mention that in another video because I really, would love to connect with you more and get to know you more personally than just through comments. But, um, yeah, keep a lookout for that. So from the very beginning, there are three people that have been with me from the very, very beginning. And I'd like to give them those three people a special mention. So these subscribers are by far, I feel like my biggest cheerleaders and they always bring a smile to my face and brighten my day. And I, and, you know, they're just, they're amazing. There's so many of you, but three, three people from the very beginning have been there cheering me on. So these three people are Sharon Graham and she now has her own channel. So I'm going to link that in the description box below as well. She's just incredible. She's amazing. She's, she's like captain of the gypsy cheer squad. <laughs> so Cindy Kinney. And I know so many people are already familiar with Cindy Kinney because she is beautiful. She leaves the most beautiful, inspiring comments on all of that. I don't know how she watches so many, but she is very supportive of many, many in this community. And she's a very familiar, people recognize her straight away. And number three, Miss Sandra Testa, who was the my first ever yarn swap partner and you know, um, I love her so much. She's so supportive of me. And, um, I just, she's somebody that before, I don't think I ever would have got the opportunity to connect with her had it not been for YouTube. So I'm very, very grateful for these three people and for all of you, but in particular, these three people. So thank you. <laughs> and Finally, I just want to read out one of my favorite comments from the 1000 subscriber giveaway. And if you haven't already seen that video, I will link that as well. So I've got lots of links to put on this video. So I'm creating lots of work for myself for this one. So uh, my favorite comment came from Stephanie B was the subscriber. And she says, my son inspires me. He's 29 now, but when we didn't have much and it was just him and I, he asked me to teach him how to crochet. He is six foot three, 300 pounds and has huge hands. Well, high schools don't have much patience and his hands got in the way of the yarn and he couldn't hold the hook correct. So he threw it in the towel. Years later, he approached me again and asked if I would teach him. He was like a sponge, soaking up all the information. He was ready. He read about all the different stitches and challenged himself. He is amazing. He takes chances putting colours together that I would never do. Now, at this path of our lives, we sit together in the living room, talking about life. Each of us is doing whips. We help each other with new things and make goals. It is such fun. I am proud that he is my son and inspires me, but I love watching as he takes the art of crochet to his friends and he teaches them. He saves money by making personal gifts and just sharing a part of himself with others. How good is that? Thank you so much for that, Stephanie. That was my favorite comment of all the comments. Um, thank you to everyone who commented on that video. 
I have I've been buzzing reading through all of these comments for the last three days. I think it was three days ago I posted that video. I've only just finished going through them all and responding and I have been just buzzing with all the inspiration. So I thought I'm going to keep it going and make sure everybody can be inspired by all these people. So there were so many mentioned and if you're a podcaster, it might be worth checking to see if you were mentioned because um, you just never know who you're inspiring out there. So I'm going to leave this video here, guys. Thank you so much for watching and sharing your inspirations with me. And hopefully um, you've found some more inspiration or someone else that you can subscribe to here. Um, everyone mentioned will be linked below. So thank you so much. Um, love you guys. Bye.